So you got this idea of uh, progressive and regressive uh, libido, yeah, this uh, the two uh, different direction, yeah, of this uh, libido, that the ego uh, appears from unconscious and uh, all the sins, you, you, you got it, yes, okay. So let's start um, kind of understanding this um, theory of personality, all these main archetypes as we already told about them before, yeah? Okay, ready? No questions? Question, question, no? Okay. Actually, everything here is important, uh, but you, you, you remember, yeah, the things? Uh, okay. Uh, just I want to tell you uh, the theory of personality now uh, because you see this um, part about uh, libido you already got it yeah and we were talking about this ego ego is actually also archetype uh, by Freud and uh, or oh, by Freud sorry by Jung and remember the first lecture when I was telling you about Jung I was telling that his idea was to call uh, his uh, psychology as complex psychology. So at first he um, wanted to call this um, analytical psychology. So it is called right now is analytical psychology. Yeah, we know it like like that. Or Jungian analysis also people yeah, say. But uh, this complex at first, this complex, ego was also the complex. So understand, yeah? So the complex, it's like something that uh, uh, kind of gather some ideas, some thoughts and uh, some, I don't know, feelings, emotions about uh, in, in one area, yeah? It's like complex. So at first, in his theory, he was calling ego as complex. But later, um, I suppose it's the same uh, kind of um, idea. So complex, uh, he was uh, calling as archetype. It's similar anyway. It's not the same, but anyway, it's like, um, on my opinion, it's a little bit uh, similar, yeah? You know this uh, uh, word, word archetype, because I already mentioned it many times, and you didn't uh, show me any signs that you don't know. You know <laughs> what does it mean? Archetypes, okay. Arch archaic means ancient. Ancient. Arch ancient so type you know what what is type so uh, according to you we have uh, um, personal uh, personal unconscious and collective collect co collective yeah collective collective or collectivistic collective collective Collective, okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so collective unconscious, and uh, we have, of course, consciousness. Yeah, so these are uh, three uh, layers of our soul, because uh, Jung was telling about soul, he called it like a psyche and soul. And uh, in, um, in this sense, we have um, some archety archetypes. So you got yeah, this idea. When we were uh, telling about libido and we were uh, telling about the appearing of this ego, uh, I told it belongs to which part? Ego, usually it's which, which part of an, uh, personal, yeah, it's like, per actually ego is a center of consciousness, uh, but anyway, it has some um, kind of things from personal unconscious. Uh, but there are also huge liars that calls uh, collectivist, collective unconscious, yeah, and usually self it's uh, more like collective unconscious. Got it, yeah? yeah? Okay, so draw this. You, you can call me these archetypes. Persona, ego, what do you know? No else. You have uh, told me uh, about the shadow. Ani what you tell anima? Anima, animus, and shadow. And here is the self. You see, yeah? 
actually this is tree you can see yeah it's tree it's also tree <laughs> but it's like it has to be reflection so you can understand yeah this is a reflection of the same tree yeah <laughs> okay so uh, look at the scheme uh, so uh, like this looks our personality or our soul yeah as Yun was telling um, here it's um, part we call consciousness yeah, and uh, as I was telling you about this ego last year lecture, so um, it is it, it belongs to this part conscious consciousness actually. Yeah, and uh, about this ego, we have this uh, persona. Do you know what is that? Have you heard about that? Uh, by the word, how do you think? What does it mean, persona? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's exactly from uh, from this um, word. It comes from the word word mask. Uh, because um, in ancient theater, actually not only in ancient theater, sometimes in theater, you know, people, um, actors, they usually put uh, the mask on their faces where, and they try to um, kind of play different role, yeah? And the same idea Yun is telling that we have in life. So we uh, put different mask on our faces in different uh, situations. Sometimes not only in situations, but sometimes in life, we, uh, in the whole life, we can put one uh, kind of mask and wear it. Uh, for, for a long time, yeah? Do you understand this idea? So he called it as persona, and it's something that we need actually for society. Remember when you were telling about this ego and about this uh, um, connecting with other people? So actually he called it as persona. So persona, this is um, a part that usually connected with other people. We have to wear these different roles in different situations. Can you give me an example? Just you would understand more. Which which uh, role I can put? What what my persona can, for example? Clown, clown, ah, clown! You told. Um, you can pretend like a clown, okay, it's a mask that you need for some situation, but uh, continue your um, idea. For example, a job, I wear uh, the mask of whom? Yes, for example, if, um, okay, if uh, I, for example, if uh, I am kind of here, let's uh, con uh, consider some real situation. For example, my role, yeah, here I'm a lecturer, so I have to wear this mask, uh, this persona of lecturer, yeah? Uh, and you kind of can see different people who usually do lectures for you, and you see all of them, they um, kind of have this different uh, persona. Understand, yeah? Maybe if you have seen someone uh, from these uh, lecturers outside of um, this place, they can behave uh, different, yeah? Did you see anyone? So we, ah, uh, no, okay. But maybe your teachers from school, just uh, to compare. So you understand, yeah, this idea? So sometimes people, um, not sometimes, according to you, Yoon, we all, all of us, we have this persona. So, and uh, for example, here I wear this um, mask of um, a lecturer, for example, when I'm, I don't know, at home, uh, I can wear a mask of mother or wife or daughter and etc. So I understand, yeah, I understand this idea. But uh, it uh, varies and uh, sometimes, you know, people, they, um, if to speak about this metaphorically, yeah, uh, when they put this mask, uh, they put it forever. Yeah, and uh, it's like um, in this situation, Jung uh, tells that we have really strong connection with our persona. So this is not who we are. It's like uh, we are associated with our persona. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. How do you understand? Just give me an example. For example, if I don't, I uh, always associated with uh, my persona only. What does it mean? I will lose myself, but what does it mean? How I will be behaving, maybe how I will be thinking, what I will be doing? Да. Example, example. Ага. 
было соприкосновение с социумом и то, что социум, например, говорит, то, что ты вот такой успешный, целеустремленный, и у него еще больше уверенность взращивается, и он уже себя ведет вот, вот, на, такой, на таком подобии, да? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, um, uh, look, uh, uh, remember, uh, last lecture I told you about ego, yeah, that ego is the center of consciousness, yeah, so, uh, but um, uh, above this ego we have this also persona that really uh, has a strong connection with society. For example, if I am associated only with persona, not with my ego, uh, but for example with persona that um, can mean, for example, if, I don't know, okay, uh, if I'm a lecturer, for example, yeah, I'm a lecturer and this is mask of lecturer, so this is my persona, yeah, I have to put here this mask, but if I'm uh, too strong associate, associated only with this persona, I will be wearing this mask everywhere, so understand, I never put, I never take it off, and um, how do you think it's good or bad? So what danger we have here? Exactly. I, I lost sense of self when I was born and when I <laughs> raised this ego uh, with the help of libido. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you understand yeah, this idea. Yeah. Uh, so that means I can um, more strong this part, more far I'm from this part. So uh, we discussed this in yeah, um, last le lecture. So that means if I'm associated only with persona, that means I will be everywhere um, behaving only like persona and then forget about all these things. You understand, yeah? So we were uh, talking about ego all last lecture, so I, I won't explain you, yeah? Persona, ego, so you got this part of our personality, yeah? This is archetypes, yeah? Uh, and all of us, according to Jung, we consist of these uh, different parts. Yeah, we have a persona, ego, and um, we will go further. Yeah, uh, shadow. Okay, what does it mean? Sh shadow, 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 shadow. How to pronounce it? It's like it. Okay, it's like it in Freud uh, theory. But what what does it mean? Uh, what I don't accept and what, what people uh, don't like, what they judge, uh, but can you give an example? So uh, pay attention on these drawings. I'm not really good in drawing, but uh, <laughs> is it look like, like a tree? Yeah? It has to be actually looking exactly like this tree uh, because it's like uh, unconscious uh, how, reflection. Um, Remember uh, on our previous uh, lecture, not today, but a couple of weeks ago, remember I was telling you about this principle of compensation and this principle of duality. Oh, that since we have in consciousness, uh, opposite uh, side of this sin, we have in unconsciousness. Unconscious. Yes. Actually, it it, it, uh, it makes sense. Actually, so okay, so um, yeah, yeah, it, it makes sen sense anyway. Yeah, just it, it may help you really. Uh, so shadow, this is it's like it's literally like a shadow. Yeah, for example, I'm a person and I'm standing here, but there are not so much light. But anyway, you can see my uh, shadow. It's a reflection of my body. Yeah, but uh, this is a metaphor that we have uh, in our soul, yeah, in our psyche. Yeah, so if I have this uh, ego, I have this persona. That means in my unconscious. So this consciousness part yeah and my unconscious uh, there is a reflection of my ego yeah of my ego uh, there uh, that and the things that usually I don't understand because um, uh, the shadow you see yeah the, the shadow is something dark yeah so literally if to look at my shadow now yeah, it's dark and uh, usually it's uh, associated uh, with uh, some uh, dark things inside of our soul uh, that we don't accept in us. Can you give an example, you started actually, can you give an example of uh, shadow? I'm to myself in real life, in my own person, uh, 
Yes, exactly. It's, it works exactly like that. <laughs> From you, yeah. Um, so, no, no, it, it doesn't. Actually, they have similar. It doesn't mean they are opposite and uh, it's like there are some contradiction. No, no, it's uh, idea is the same. It's the idea of unconsciousness. Unconscious, sorry. Uh, please understand this idea that there is something that I understand and there is something that I don't understand. But Jung, he gathered it in one uh, word uh, where he kind of tried to join some common features about the things we don't accept in ourselves. It's not necessarily a negative thing, by the way. It's, it, it can be positive and also positive. For example, the uh, the things you are describing, it usually happens. Yeah, uh, if uh, in my consciousness, uh, with my persona and ego, I behave uh, usually like oh, I'm a right girl. I don't know. I just uh, follow rules, good girl. But when I uh, take some um, alcohol, yeah, it's like I behave completely opposite because uh, these things kind of uh, I'm trying to control here. But when I use some uh, something that uh, kind of I'm losing yeah, my control and these things uh, become on the stage. Yeah. Persona, is it like a defense mechanism? Or? Yes, all of them. It's like, it's like the things uh, that we crea create for reality, these uh, things are um, protecting us, of course, if to tell about this idea, uh, any concept, yeah, have this idea. And uh, for example, if you have read this story about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, did you read? Yes. Have you heard? Okay, you read. Oh, okay, so it's good. So uh, I recommend uh, everyone to read it because it was written last, not last, uh, two century ago. Yeah, uh, it's a famous novel. Actually, you uh, got this idea from this novel. Yeah, uh, there was uh, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. So uh, Doctor was uh, really famous and was uh, very, you know, um, how to say, a person who. Um, was uh, taking care only about uh, science and all the things, uh, but then he invented a cure, yeah, some medicine. And when he was uh, taking this medicine, he became r like uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde is like, uh, he was very angry, yeah, he was killing him, he, he was doing uh, many bad things. And this was his shadow. Uh, actually, uh, there is a movie now, um, Hulk. So you know this uh, character. It's exactly this uh, Hulk. This is a uh, uh, shadow of uh, how the name of uh, his uh, Bruce Bruce Ben 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 Bruce Ben. So Ben. Да. Да. So, so, so yes, this is idea of psychotherapy. Yes. Yes, exactly. Virtual reality is mechanism of compensation, of course. Yeah. Yes. It's. If you want, you. I told you, you can. You can find my book. I told you, you can find my book where uh, we do uh, analysis. Uh, of two famous, that time it was a famous uh, computer games, is Prince of Persia and Assassin's Creed in this book. And uh, we consider uh, in this book, we do uh, analysis of these uh, games from um, Jung perspective and from Laka perspective. And we describe in first chapter about this virtual reality, what, what usually we consider as virtual reality. And um, in this virtual reality, it's like true. It's uh, the area where we can uh, achieve any um, things we want to get that we can't uh, get in real life. So this is projection of our unconscious, of course. It's yes, it's dreams. Um, but okay, let, let's come back here. You, you understand? Yeah, this idea of, of shadow. Yeah, it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Uh, Hyde and uh, Hulk and Bru Bruce. Someone, <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> so, you, so you know this um, uh, character Hulk. So it's like his uh, shadow, really, and. Uh, if uh, continue this idea of uh, psychotherapy, you see uh, how usually Jungian analysts they think. So if you, so if you understand about your shadow, if you understand about these dark things that uh, um, 
there are yeah, d dark. It's uh, of course it's not like, uh, they are not sometimes uh, really dark. But anyway, it's uh, it's uh, something dark we don't accept in us. Yeah, and if uh, these things we understand uh, in ourselves, these uh, things they give us a huge resource. So in movie, for example, with this uh, Hulk, you have seen it's like in, it's not in real, um, it's a little bit fantasy way, yeah, how it works. But in real life, it can work the same way, but not so literally. So if I understand my um, kind of dark features, yeah, let's call it like that, they can, they can make me stronger. For example, if you understand this feature yeah, in yourself when you behave uh, very free, maybe very aggressive, I don't know, just uh, I give you an example, and uh, you don't accept this uh, things in uh, normal uh, life, when you accept it, this things um, can make you stronger because you can use this feature, of course not everywhere, but when you need, you can use it as a resource because everything we have uh, inside of our soul, this is a we, this is who we are. Understand? Uh, this is idea of Yun. Uh, he understood actually our soul and psychic um, very, you know, how to say, like, like when they invented this word schizophrenia, yeah? schizo, it's like different pa parts, yeah? Uh, so it's um, somewhere near, yeah? He also, Jung was understand our psychic as uh, complexes or archetypes. It's not like something really whole, yeah? But it's like something that divided on different parts. So we are divided uh, on different, yeah? Parts. And uh, the purpose of uh, psychotherapy is uh, to bring patient or client to this idea of uh, something uh, wholeness, I don't know, something whole, yeah, like to, to bring uh, the patient to the self and uh, make him not uh, divided on different parts. I understand? It's like, oh, you didn't get it. Okay, I will, uh, I will, I will repeat later when I will like, I uh, explain different yeah, part of our personality. Uh, yes, it's, it's connected with collective unconsciousness because uh, the things I'm uh, telling you about, it's like I'm telling that uh, each of us we have all these archetypes, yeah. But uh, how he invented this idea because it's. Uh, during our, I don't know, history as a human being, yeah. Uh, so we, all of us, we had this persona, ego, and all these things. So it's, it can be in collective unconscious also, and we can see such uh, things in symbols, in dreams. A little bit later about that, but you have to understand that it's uh, now. It's I'm explaining it like uh, part of my personal, yeah. Um, personal life, but it also belongs to a uh, human being in general. Yeah, understand? You underst understood what does it mean shadow? Shadow, and it's, uh, it's, it's really easy to, uh, to see how it works. Uh, you were right, when we project in something uh, negative on another person. Uh, for example, um, now just a small exercise, do it uh, just in your head. Uh, remember a person that you really don't like, that really annoy you and annoys you. So you remember, yeah, such person. You picked up this person that you don't like, maybe that uh, you don't like some, some sense in him or some, something annoys you with him. Did you pick up? Did you choose? Um, it has to be really strong uh, reaction. So did you choose? Okay, uh, if you can't find uh, like such person, you can do this success later. It doesn't, it doesn't matter actually, but if you choose, for example, and you understand what you don't like in this person, yeah? You understand what you hate or what annoys you, what makes you angry, it's like disgusting, yeah? Did you, uh, do you understand, yeah, what is it? And now, please, uh, think very careful what uh, similar you have with this person. What common features maybe you have with this person. Did you find what common feature you have with this person? You find. So that means your shadow. The, the feature uh, that you have co common, common um, with this uh, person, this is your shadow. You don't accept these things in yourself, but you have these things in yourself.
So you understood, yeah, how it works? Yeah, it can be like that. So that, uh, that's the thing, uh, for example, before you had it and you didn't uh, knew that you had it, but uh, became one day when you realized this feature and they uh, came into light. So they, from shadow, became to... Um, to, to light into light okay and, and then uh, if it uh, if we realize these things uh, we realize our unconscious this is our personal to be honest this is our personal unconscious this is consciousness and this reflection yeah uh, of um, uh, ego it's like a personal unconsciousness so each of us we have our personal unconscious and our um, own shadow for example if uh, I, um, I don't know if someone of you can understand your shadow is something I don't know angry and something like that then another person he can think that in my shadow can be some kind features so and I, I I don't accept it. For example, kindness in me, and then this feature will be in shadow. So it doesn't matter positive or negative. It has to be in uh, shadow. I mean, it in, in the dark opposite. It, uh, we don't understand the other sense. Okay. Uh, Um, it can be like that. Uh, we don't know uh, many things about uh, ourselves. So in that sense, uh, we know something, but uh, there are many things that we don't know yeah, about ourselves. And uh, it's not only like um, this shadow. Yeah, it can be this gold shadow. It's also a term of Yun. But it's something positive. But I'm not really good in the interpretation of this term. So that is why I'm afraid of to be not co no, golden, golden shadow, this is storm of Jung, yeah, but I'm afraid that I give you um, a wrong explanation, so if you really want to know, you, it's better to read, because this is his storm, but uh, I think the main idea you should understand, maybe this golden shadow means that something positive in shadow, but I think it's better to understand generally that in our shadow usually hiding some Features that we don't uh, accept in ourselves, something that we don't know, something that we repressed, and all these things. Understood? And this belongs to personal, yeah, uh, unconscious. Uh, can I go further? So you understood with shadow, yeah? And we didn't uh, go here yet. It will be here. It will be here. Uh, understand? Uh, okay, uh, anima and animus. You have heard this uh, word. I suppose you know what is it does it mean. On, uh, okay. Yeah, it's like um, um, I will try to be very briefly. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, because uh, Yun was a man, so that is why at first he was. Uh, describing uh, this uh, phenomenon uh, from his point of view and he was telling that uh, anima actually if to give a direct translation that means soul soul dusha uh, so that means um, uh, in man's uh, figure uh, there are archetype of uh, anima that's um, archetype th that um, kind of includes uh, the feminine i don't know how to explain the feminine idea idea it's like um, women inside of men Un understand anima this is uh, uh, feminine part of man do you understand it or not uh, so there is, a, for example, a gender, yeah, and um, uh, usually um, uh, we have some ideas about gender identity. Uh, now, for example, these roles are a little bit different, yeah. Uh, but when Jung was um, creating this um, theory, it was like that: that uh, our soul, for example, if I am woman, 
in my um, soul there is ego, there is persona, there is shadow and there is animus because I am a woman. That means I also have man's part, but inside of me if uh, I am a woman. Man's, uh, that means uh, something rational, very um, strict, uh, something, I don't know what, what, what usually it is like, uh, if to I use the symbol, it's like fire. Yeah, understand? And this, I have this animus also, it's part of my soul. And usually, for example, when I'm choosing another partner, partner, it will be, he will be a projection of my animus. So if you, for example, now remember, if you had already uh, several partners, I'm not sure that you had, yeah, for example, because your, your life is not too long, but uh, for example, if you had at least several partners, it, 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 with you it works the same way. So for men, uh, you have like this uh, women's part inside of you that uh, called anima. It's uh, like an image of, uh, it's like feminine image. So understand? Yeah, this it's like uh, if you are, for example, very brave and we are men anyway, you have inside of you very sensitive, flexible and uh, usually it's symbol of water, yeah, uh, part. So, and when uh, we uh, choose another partner, it's our projection, projection of our anima or animus. So just make a brief analysis. If you had uh, pre different partners, uh, usually uh, they are different type. Not usually, but sometimes they're different uh, type. So my first, for example, husband, uh, partner, he was like that, yeah? Uh, then I divorced and my second was, um, not like that, that means I already knew something about my animals, I developed some features, yeah, I already uh, know more about my unconscious and then I kind of choose another partner because my animals became um, different. You understand this idea? It's difficult for you or not? Okay. okay. And it's, um, for example, anima, it's also a huge uh, artistic, uh, Artistic, yeah, it's usually uh, творческий. Artistic? Creative, creative yeah, it's, it's a creative potential. A creativity, this is a resource of our creativity. Anima? Yes. This is uh, what usually uh, we uh, use uh, in art therapy. So Jung was uh, the main guy who uh, invented art therapy, did you know? that art therapy we have now, so he, it was his idea uh, to do this method because uh, his method was calling as active uh, imagination, yeah, he was also using it. You wanted to add something? Okay. And uh, if we understand, for example, uh, about um, our anima and animus, so about our anima, it's uh, the resource of our creativity, yeah, it's a huge resource, if it, it's again energy. You understand this? Sense? And this all, um, yet uh, in personal uh, unconscious and then we go deeper and here we have self self this uh, you have heard about this yeah self uh, what did you um, hear about that because it's you know, it varies because uh, when Jung was describing, for example, um, this uh, theory of, of libido in early in 1910s or 11s, it was a little bit different than it was later. So what do you know about self and how you understand this? Because it's a, like central archetype of our personality uh, that belongs to um, collective unconsciousness, of course. And here, yeah, there are a lot of different archetypes also. Okay, self, self. Samast, what he told you, what he called as self. How do you think, okay, how do you think, what, what, what is that self? So it's some mysterious center in, uh, inside of our soul. So what is, uh, so you understand, yeah, what is, uh, what, what does it mean, persona, ego, shadow, anima, animals, and what is self then? It's like a true us, but what is it? Maybe it's a combined. Yeah, it's, uh, you know what, um, it's really, 
difficult uh, to explain and why I don't want to give uh, how to say the explanation because it, it really varies from the book uh, where you will be reading his works. In his later work, for example, he was telling the self, it's like the center of our spir spirit Spirituality, it's like our true uh, self uh, and if we for example uh, step by step uh, kind of know some things about us more then we can realize our unconscious yeah more and more and we go deeper deeper inside of uh, our soul and we can achieve our true self but if you remember you understand, yeah? Uh, but if you remember our, my first lecture when I was telling how the ego is uh, appearing, so I told you exactly that ego is appearing from the self. So ego is coming, uh, ego is born uh, from unconsciousness. So it's like self, this is uh, the beginning of our uh, life and it's also, it's like, um, the result where we have to come. I mean, not to die, but it's like when I was explaining you this uh, ego, yeah? I remember that the ego uh, has to race, it has a long distance uh, with self, yeah? Uh, so it's like um, divi divided from, uh, from self, and then uh, we have to, not literally, but metaphorically, metaphorically kill our ego, and then we arrive here to our self. It's like yes, it's like it's, it's like yes, yes, it's like um, this process of, of individuation. So now, for example, if coming back to this process of individuation, we were talking about that. Yeah, uh, it's like um, at first uh, I am born uh, from here, from collective unconscious. Yeah. Uh, my uh, this consciousness yeah and um, it's like this part has to be die yeah uh, has has die uh, die die yes and then I have to come back by the process of this individuation to true myself understand so this process of individuation in therapy usually Jungian analysts they do like that if you are my client and I am a Jungian uh, therapist I at first work with your persona then I uh, so we kind of doing something uh, more clear for you that you have in your social yeah, role and all the things then we go to your ego then we uh, coming back deeper to your shadow, to the features that you don't accept, and blah, 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 anima, animus, and then, for example, itself. Do you understand? It depends. Uh, usually, I mean, um, it doesn't matter. Actually, according to this uh, theory, uh, the unconscious is huge. So it, it, it's huge. It's a conscious, not so huge, but uh, unconscious is huge. Yeah, the more ego you have, uh, the more problem you have. That's true. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, that's why Jungian analysis, it's, for example, um, it's not necessary that you will be a client of Jungian therapies. No, for every person, um, kind of, uh, there are some directions that kind of more, how to say, uh, suitable, or how to say, uh, suitable, yeah, I can, I can use this word, yeah. Uh, but, uh, for example, if you become a client of Jungian uh, analyst, it's usually um, not fast process. Uh, if you become a client of psychoanalytic, uh, it's also not a fast process. It's long process of analysis when we step by step understand the things that you have in unconscious and all these things. And it's like I, I'm kind of a person who helps you to go by this process of individu individu 
individuation yeah in 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 our process of therapy it's not necessary to be honest uh, be a client of psychotherapist the life itself can um, uh, have many resources and can give you many things I'm trying to explain you these things because your profession is psychology. So that is why you maybe have a deal with such person if you go to practice, but maybe you don't have a deal with such person if you go to practice. Maybe you will choose another direction. It's not necessary to choose yeah, analytical psychology. It will rise. It doesn't matter actually. So I have Jungian analyst. Uh, friends friends and uh, usually not usually but sometimes for example uh, the patient I have here uh, and uh, who needs a uh, long therapy I give uh, their context and uh, it's problem of addiction for example it doesn't matter so if a person professional he will be working uh, with any issue uh, but if I'm professional I also understand what issue I can it's like a, it's more for me and what is not mine because I have uh, not enough knowledge or it's my problem topic so it's, it, it works with uh, any type of issue I don't know for example I'm not Jungian analyst but when we uh, started uh, to do group therapy and we were invited some new type of uh, psychotherapy in the medical hospital where I work here yeah? Uh, so we used uh, many uh, things from his theory. We used active imagination, we used some, some things uh, like about interpretation and all the things. So we kind of used some uh, features of his theory, but I'm not Jungian analyst. So I, when I do art therapy now, uh, it's not like I'm art therapist, but I use art therapy like um, a technique more. So for me, it's like a, a more a technique that I can use in my therapeutic process. Sometimes I can do interpretation from his point of view. So Jungian uh, analyst, uh, analyst uh, Jungian analysis or so Jungian psychology works uh, also with uh, some definite uh, methods. Yeah, uh, remember, as Freud was working with the free association, dreams interpretation, and uh, special yeah uh, procedure of this analysis where a person is lying and I'm sitting near with his uh, head he can't see me yeah uh, so Jungian analysts they uh, usually use face-to-face -face contact yeah and um, they use uh, uh, imag yeah, free imagination they can use art therapy dreams interpretation and all these things they um, sometimes for example you can see the reflection of your uh, process of individuation in your dreams and Jung says, for example, if this process of individuation is like archety archetypal in our life, so it's like uh, uh, all of us, we can uh, pass through this process, but not necessarily we will, yeah? But if, for example, you are in this road of this journey yeah, um, to your true self, to your to self okay uh, so in in your dreams you can see different stage of where you are for example if uh, you have dreams with this uh, um, symbol of persona is usually how do you think what symbols uh, of persona what it can be symbol of persona If you, if you see a dream, uh, for example, the symbol of perso persona in these dreams, what it can be? The symbol of shadow, uh, who you can see? Persona. Yeah, it works like that. So, for example, if in my dream I have, uh, yeah, it's like a symbol. So, child, usually it's, um, it varies actually, but it can be a symbol of, um, um, of self sometimes yeah and when I see yeah, that uh, some child uh, in this dream something happened with him or maybe he appears that can be the symbol that oh myself give me a sign yeah and wave me <laughs> it is joking but uh, you understand yeah, this idea the symbol of persona it can be literally it can be mask clothes or I don't know people uh, that really associates usually with persona I don't know it's some professions and all these things the symbol of shadow in dreams it can be how do you think what it can be it can be reflection but usually it's not literally like that uh, but it can be in your dreams how do you think 
Yeah, it can be animals. Yeah, it can be animals. Some, uh, I don't know, um, something negative, some dark, some frightening. Yeah, uh, do you understand? The symbol of anima and animals. How do you think it can be in your dreams? <laughs> Yeah, some, some, some man's figure, yeah, it can be some man's figure or some, it's not necessarily from real uh, world, it can be some fantasy, yeah, something like that. Uh, you understand, yeah, this is, usually the symbols that uh, has a round shape and uh, uh, really kind of um, centered, uh, something like that, they yeah. symbolize uh, self, uh, mandala, you know, this. Yes, uh, what mandala usually, uh, it's often, not usually, but uh, this is a symbol that usually you uses in different yeah, uh, religious conceptions and in art therapy um, now it's very popular to use this uh, symbol when there are different yeah, uh, mandala symbols and people have to, you know, draw this. <laughs> so this is mandala, this is a symbol of a self. Do you get it? Uh, of course, uh, there are more symbols and it's better if you read it yourself uh, because um, there are very interesting scenes in Jung theory, not only I was telling you about, so, but anyway, uh, it requires more time. But according to our um, subject, we have to consider also different theories, not only uh, psychoanalytical, psychodynamic perspective. Okay, if even I told you the story started from these guys, I mean, psychotherapy started yeah, from Freud. So that is why I usually uh, give more accent on these two guys uh, but please read yourself about Alfred Adler if you want there are um, Karen Horney also Sullivan and all these uh, people who are near with uh, Freud uh, but today I want to finish with uh, Jung and with Freud because I want we go a little bit further so if you have some question uh, please ask did you understand the sense so if to uh, make a brief analysis, yeah, what we were talking about, we were talking about um, ego functions, attitude, yeah, this uh, feeling, yeah, intuition, ego functions, yeah, we will consider how our ego appears and according to this process of individu individuation, yeah, Mm, our ego has to die and we consider this um, kind of main archetypes uh, that um, there is in Jung theory of personality. Do you get it? Do you have any question? <laughs>